Hello and welcome to my Let's Play of Sid Meier's Pirates. Um, this will be my first attempt at Let's Play, so um, hopefully it'll turn out okay. Might as well go ahead and start a game. If you hadn't already guessed, you were the young Montavon, or not new Montavon, dog got it. The young, uh, young Cyan. So, let's go ahead and start playing. Uh, Sam Lander will be my character's name, because why not? Go ahead and say that. Alright, <clears throat> experience levels. We have super easy, no problem at all. Really easy, if you've played the game before, you probably won't have any trouble. Uh, I'm going to be choosing Adventure, which is harder, but not impossible. <clears throat> On the other hand, Rogue and Swashbuckler, I fail horribly, almost immediately. Yeah. They're not very much fun for me. I, I, I enjoy playing games where I can actually succeed, and so I don't go all out for Swashbuckler. Let's go ahead and head down to Skill. Skill at Fencing. It makes it easier to take over ships, uh, doing things like beating the, uh, winning the ladies hard, and that sort of thing. Skill at gunnery. It's sinking enemy ships. You know, is what it says on the tin. Skill at navigation. Uh, you can get from place to place faster. It's actually kind of useful, um, especially when with, with uh, the higher difficulty levels, because the wind won't always blow in the direction you want it to go to get to where you want to be. Skill at medicine. Now this is my favorite. Um, with skill at medicine, you are you live longer and you age less rapidly. So you can actually play a lo much longer game. I I always choose skill of medicine. Quit and charm. It's it, useful if you want to have a governor's daughter in every city, which is not a bad idea. <clears throat> All right, start date. Uh, and you can pause and read what the start dates actually mean. Um, in general, the Buccaneers Heroes is the easiest to start off with. Although you will run into the Pirate Sunset. Um, at the end of your lifespan, say 30 or 40 years down the road, which is entirely possible in this game, um, if you play that long like I tend to, um, the, the pirate sunset is a hard, hard time period to do because there you, you tend to be an actual pirate as opposed to being a privateer for one of the major uh, countries. So let's go ahead and stick with. Uh, well, I'll highlight them all so you can pause and read them. But let's go ahead and stick with Buccaneers Heroes. Now we get to choose which country we start off affiliated with. Have the French, which are not a bad choice. Kind of, kind of, uh, about the same actually between the French, the English, and the Dutch. Uh, the French, I believe, start off at war with the English. And the Spanish, I believe the Dutch start off at war with 
the English and the Spanish, and I believe the English start off a war with about everybody. <clears throat> I'm probably wrong about that. The Spanish start off at war with at least a couple of factions, and they tend to stay at war with at least one other faction through the entire game, which is a good thing. The bad thing is, if you play as the Spanish and you tend want to rescue your family, um, you're going to be sinking Spanish ships, which is bad for what they concern about you. So let's go ahead and sign on board with, uh, let's go with the English. So, heading out to sail with the English. And yay, we just took over our first ship. Sending the villainous, villainous captain on his merry, merry way. And we're in our first town. Um, we can go ahead and talk to the governor, which is very useful. Because we haven't done anything yet, he's just going to give us a letter of Mark. In the past. Even show us where to go find some... Go find some uh, villainous Spanish. <clears throat> and yes, we are starting in Port Royale. Famous place, if you've watched any pirate movies. Yeah, let's go ahead and follow along. Might as well. Might as well go visit the tavern now. Uh, you always want to have as, about as many crew as you can on your boat. They can... Lower your crew morale if you haven't made enough money, but it's too useful to not have a full crew. So, welcome aboard, mates. Alright, this guy we don't have enough money for, but we might as well go check out what he's going to do. Oh, hey. He, he visited Tortuga, which means he's going to fill us in our information from it. Tortuga, French settlement. Alright, he can just buy a triple hammocks. Useful. As I come across the shipwrights with the various different things, I will tell you what they do and tell you how useful they are. The beautiful adventure. And she hands out information like possibly where your family is, uh, where smugglers are, where pirates are, that sort of thing. <clears throat> He's actually not far from here, but I'm not ready to take him on yet. Alright, go, go ahead and talk to the innkeeper. Ah! And the, this is a good place because the real beauty of a governor's daughter lives here. Let's go ahead and head out. Well, we don't really have anything to trade with the merchant. I uh, can't really do anything at the ship, right? So next time, I will show you how to sail your ship, and we'll go ahead and take off. <laughs>